Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about world Englishes. World Englishes? What do you use plural in the word English? There's only one English. There are plural English. Oh wow! We've got a grammar Nazi here. Just so you know, Miss. World Englishes is the term used to refer to varieties of English spoken in different parts of the world. The English you just used is a kind of World Englishes, you see. Come again? You must know that English has become a global language. English was mostly spread by migration, such as in Australia, New Zealand, and North America. And colonialism, such as in India, Singapore, and the Philippines. People from different speech communities, cultures, countries whose first language isn't English use English to communicate with other people from other speech communities. The English that they use is influenced by their native languages. Even people from countries with English as their first language speak differently. And there are often misunderstandings between native speakers of English. For instance, in American English, the cover of a vehicle is called hood, while in British English it is called bonnet. That's what the world English is. However, you must not get confused with the terms world Englishes and world English. They are not the same and cannot be used to replace one another. World English, or Global English, is the variety of English used as a lingua franca among people whose first language is different, such as when an Indonesian conversing with a Brazilian using English. To avoid confusion, Global English is preferably used by linguists and other scholars. In 1992, Braj Kahlo proposed three circles to categorize English. The first circle, the smallest one, is called the inner circle. It refers to English as the primary language or the mother tongue. The countries which belongs to the inner circle are UK, US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Next circle, the second circle, which is bigger than the inner circle, is Outer Circle. It refers to countries which utilize English as an official language used in education, business, government, etc. English in the Outer Circle is also known as English as a Second Language or ESL. The ESL countries include, but not limited to, India, Singapore, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Kenya. The last circle is the expanding circle. This is the biggest circle in Kahlo's model. This circle belongs to countries which use English as a lingua franca, or, in other words, a language that is used between speakers whose native languages are different. English in this circle can also be called English as a foreign language, or EFL. Indonesia is a part of this circle, along with China, Thailand, Russia, Mexico, Turkey, and many more. Do you know the country with the most speakers of English is no longer one of the inner circle category? It is actually China, an expanding circle country. In China today, learning English is compulsory from the early years of primary school. Just because speakers of world Englishes are speaking the same language, it doesn't make them understandable. Even speakers from the same circle, like American or Australian, may have difficulty understanding each other. There are some components influencing the comprehension of world Englishes speakers. First, there are verbal components such as hearing, dialect, vision, word choice, and jargon. Then there are non-verbal components such as eye contact, facial expressions, gestures, and speaking distance. Lastly, the paraverbal components such as accent, articulation, intonation, pausing, and volume also affect the understanding of communication. 
all of those components are influenced by the region, culture, social class and more of one speech community. All in all, in sociolinguistics, specifically world Englishes, there are no correct or incorrect English, nor is there standard English. What matters is the speakers of world Englishes can't understand each other when they are communicating.